Attention, ladies and gentlemen, Hell's Gate is coming very, very soon. I know it was supposed to be delivered to you on the 29th of February. However, my son was born, and I did state in that one video that if Josiah was born, the show would be delayed a little bit longer. So bear with me. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Going to be epic, going to be great. But uh, let's get on with today's video, shall we? What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing some WWE action figures that were shown off at Toy Fair, but I never really covered them here on the channel. We got a couple new figures shown off from the Top Talents Elite Series 2020. I never really covered them, so I wanted to discuss them here today with you guys, sort of do a little comparison with the other Top Talents, and sort of just discuss everything that's going on with the Top Talents line, and uh, you know, it's supposed to be coming very, very soon, which I'm very excited about. I think the Top Talents line is a really awesome line. You guys know that the whole point of the line is to keep, you know, the big stars, the big top guys on WWE television in stores for people to purchase so you know mom and dad don't really watch wwe that much they go into the they go into the store they look up on the shelf they see aj styles they see seth rollins they see braun Strowman. they're like oh yeah i know that guy let me go ahead and grab him so that is the whole point of the wave and i think it's a really genius idea from a business perspective on mattel's side of things so let's go ahead and get started guys let's go ahead and start off with the first one that was shown off and it is ricochet now this is the wwe elite collection top pick series number three ricochet mint on card here it is a prototype as you guys can see we are getting i do believe is this his nxt takeover attire where he took on adam cole i do believe for the north american championship i could be wrong about that uh it looks like that attire maybe it's a similar attire with that silver slash gray with the white boots and it looks good you know everything looks good from here uh except for one thing brad and you'll probably notice it it is the knee pads there's no knee pads on it this will be our third ricochet elite figure that has not had knee pads obviously Obviously, we start things off with the Elite Series 69 Ricochet in the gold and black. That figure did not have knee pads and his tooling. He's a little bit too tall, obviously, which is a little bit unfortunate, but he did not have knee pads. And then they ended up releasing that battle pack, or they're about to release the battle pack of Velveteen Dream and Ricochet, where Ricochet is in the same exact attire, but they actually gave him knee pads. So I guess if you want to put those knee pads on your Ricochet Elite Series 69, you're going to have to go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS, and buy that battle pack with with the sick-ass basic of Velveteen Dream that would have been beautiful for Elite Series 72, they decided to give it to us here in the battle pack. You know, you can't you can't cry over things that are already passed. But you know what, Brad? Uh, you know, this is uh, this is unfortunate that we are getting the knee pads in a separate set, so you got to buy both to get the knee pads, which is very unfortunate. But that was the first figure of Ricochet that we had that did not have the knee pads. Second figure we had was the Network Spotlight Target Exclusive Series with the yellow and black attire right here, which is another great-looking figure, but again, they left left off the knee pads. Now, I don't know why they keep doing that. I'm not sure because I remember back in the day when we had Elite Series 47 AJ Styles, I remember everybody bitching about the knee pads there and eventually they started giving us knee pads with our AJ Styles and then uh, they were accurate at that. So, I guess maybe this is something that they'll finally give us or maybe they're going to include the knee pads. This is just the prototype. We have yet to see that. So, Ricochet is making a big splash here into the top picks line because we thought that it was going to be Seth Rollins AJ Styles, Rey Mysterio, and Jeff Hardy. Now that leads me to some other questions as we know that Matt Hardy was actually released yesterday and so uh, does this mean that Jeff's going to be released too? Does this mean he's leaving? I heard that his contract was a little bit longer so I'm not sure if we're going to be getting any more Jeffs. Obviously we won't be getting any more Matts and I'd actually be shocked if that new Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy battle pack actually even makes it to you know fruition or in store. It may be coming to ringside if you pre-ordered it but if it uh, obviously if he's released, they're not going to put him up on the shelf. Um, or they might, I guess, but I, I don't see that happening. So you probably won't see that Matt, you know, that Matt Hardy, and it's probably going to be really uh, sought after. So buy up all the Matt Hardy figures that you can at the time, guys, because uh, he is probably going to be AEW bound. Now, if we look on the back of the packaging, guys, this is another big deal. Again, remember, we thought it was going to be Hardy, Mysterio, 
AJ Styles and Seth Rollins, but they have changed it to where it is now Braun Strowman, Ricochet, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins. And if you guys get in there deep and you look at it, it looks like Seth Rollins is going to be in that X-Man Wolverine type gear. And that's pretty cool. I did not expect them to make that gear at all. So hopefully this means that uh, in Elite Series 78, which is I am projecting that Seth Rollins will be in Elite Series 78. We've covered it here on the channel, so hopefully that is true. Um, Seth Rollins is going to be in Elite Series 78. That means that it will not be this attack that they show on the back of the packaging here. It will be a different attire. Maybe the Avengers attire. Maybe the WrestleMania 35 gear. Could be a bunch of different gears. Even the Survivor Series gear. Who the hell knows? Because, you know, he, he rocks a new gear every freaking day nowadays. Um, so, we'll just have to see about that. I'm sure he'll get pumped out in Series 81 or 82, and he'll probably be in the Monday Night Messiah gear by that time. But that is a big deal that Ricochet is in the Top Talents wave. Um, it does look like Roman Reigns, though. It looks like the Elite Series, what was that? It wasn't six 62, it was the other, 68, Elite Series 68 Roman from SummerSlam, that's the exact vest, and it's coming with the Universal Championship, so I'm not sure, and now I'm actually reading the little bio right here that it says Ricochet became the one and only NXT North American Champion when he defeated Adam Cole at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, so this is the TakeOver Brooklyn attire, which is a good attire, it just does not have the knee pads. Now we're going to take a look at Braun Strowman now, guys, and this one is um, a little bit different than his other ones, obviously, it is going to come with a cloth t-shirt, you have the shirtless mold which we did see with the Elite Series 76 Braun Strowman that's coming out from WrestleMania 35. It does not feature the new head sculpt though, which is kind of shocking. You guys remember when Elite Series 68 released, they released the exact same figure in the top picks wave, and then when we got what was that, Elite Series 58 Braun Strowman, they released the top talents again like that. So it's like they released the same Braun over and over, but this time they actually changed it up a little bit as far as head sculpt is concerned. However, we've seen this head sculpt before and that's unfortunate. It looks like we're going to be getting the same screaming head sculpt that we seen for so very long, but it is cool to see that we are getting the cloth t-shirt. I do like the shirtless brawn. I think it looks pretty badassery, and I'll pull up the Elite Series 76 side-by-side -side in this video so you guys can kind of see the difference between the two, which isn't very much. I definitely like the Elite Series 76 brawn a lot more than the uh, top picks just because of the head sculpt. I do wish that the other brawn came with a shirt, but you know, you do get the other accessories with that, but it does have the better head sculpt, so I guess you got to have your little trade-off value there where you sacrifice the cloth t-shirt for the different head sculpt. But Braun Strowman's looking okay. I really did not want him to make a return back to the top picks line. When they removed him out of the top picks line, I thought it was going to be great. But I don't know about you guys. Every time I go to uh, Walmart, a Target, and the top picks line is there... AJ Styles and Seth Rollins are the ones that are rotten on the shelves, and sometimes Finn Balor. The only one that's never there is Braun Strowman, so I guess that's why they keep plugging him in this series. You know, he's very popular with children, with kids who collect the Mattel figures, and you know, they buy them, they get them for Christmas, stuff like that. I literally never see a Braun Strowman Elite on the shelf, so that is uh, that is what it is. I'm not sure. I, I'm guessing that's why is because, you know, parents like Braun Strowman. They see him on TV. Their kids love Braun Strowman. My brother-in-law, who uh, has been watching Braun Strowman for about three or four years now. I think he's nine now. He he loves Braun Strowman and he's been loved Braun Strowman for a while. So uh, I guess, you know, that's where they get that from. But Braun Strowman did make a return here. And it is, again, it's very cool to see Ricochet come up in here, but it doesn't seem like he's a top pick. It doesn't seem like they want to treat him as a main event talent or a, you know, a top superstar because uh, they got him out here losing to Riddick Moss on television going off the 24-7 the title. He got beat by Brock in five seconds. So I don't know. Ricochet's stock definitely plummeted after Super showdown and then after Monday Night Raw last night very sickening to look at but this figure makes it a little bit better at least from you know a perspective so I'm hyped for this one I still have not tracked down the network spotlight series you know the target exclusive ricochet yet which I do want to get um, I am very bummed out about his height and his knee pads so uh, hopefully the Velveteen Dream and ricochet battle pack I don't get the battle packs from ringside so maybe when that thing hits retail I can buy a couple of them to add knee pads to my guys or something like that because I think the Velveteen Dream head sculpts a little bit different Maybe I'll get that head sculpt, do a little action figure surgery with it. We'll figure something out for sure, but I am hyped for the Ricochet here. Even though the knee pads aren't accurate, he's going to be a little bit too tall. The Braun Strowman, you know, it is what it is. I um, I don't hate Braun Strowman. I don't hate his figures. I just think they're very similar every single time. And so, uh, you know, I am glad, though, that we are getting the shirtless mold. The shirtless mold is very big. Uh, we've been wanting that forever, and it's a new, it's brand new tooling. Like, they completely 
completely re-sculpted a new torso. They didn't just go with the Big Show torso and give us something that we have seen in the past. They actually created a whole new thing for Braun, and that's a pretty cool deal right there. But uh, I think that is it for the WWE action figure news. I did want to put this up to you guys because I, uh, with Josiah being born and everything, I never got a video to plug in the Top Talents waves here. And uh, with all the other stuff, with the ringside exclusive Jericho, with the AEW figures flushing in, and then we had the Ultimate Editions from Mattel, and we had the Decades of Dominance figures. I mean, we had all kinds of shit flying all over the wall. So uh, that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. Uh, I did see where they posted up images of the Street Profits, so I guess I can plug those in for you guys so you guys can see those real quick before we get out of here. Overall, I think these are great. They are the new Raw Tag Team Champions, so that is pretty cool. I don't remember them wearing this gear. I thought it would be in the red gear, but uh, I like it. I like the way Montez Ford looks. Um, I wish he was kind of making a different face, but I guess a normal size, you know, a normal style face just chilling right there is a little bit better than, you know, some goofy looking face. I think Dawkins looks a little bit better than Ford, if I'm being completely honest, but I think both of these figures look great. Uh, the rest of the figures in the wave is AJ Styles, which we've seen a hundred times before. It's the same head sculpt. Aleister Black is in this series, and he has the exact same head sculpt, and then Roman Reigns is in this series, and he has the exact same head sculpt, so I'm not going to plug those figures in. You guys can just check out the uh, Street Profits right here, and they're looking fire, so uh, I'm happy for them. I, I am going to get them so we can maybe do some surgery, get them into elite form. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Going to be kind of difficult, but we'll have to see, guys, but I I am getting the hell out of here. Going to go film some Hell's Gate football pads, and uh, I wanted to put up these top talents elites to you guys. Let me know what you think of the Ricochet and the Braun Strowman down in the comment section below, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I think we're going to actually do a toy hunt this, uh, this week. Um, let me know down in the comment section below if you stayed all the way to the end. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys would like to see a figure hunt where I go to every single store in my town to see what figures they have. So I'm talking about any store that might have WWE figures, we're going to go and we're going to hunt, and it's going to be probably six stores possibly. We'll just have to see about that. I know of five off the top of my head, so if I do a little bit more digging, maybe that will take place. But let me know down below. Check out the figures, fart in the bags, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.